Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2014 Nissan Maxima 3.5 SV, and um, the, the 2015s have yet to come out, and um, so this is, you know, one of the 14 models, and if you're looking for an awesome deal on one, now's the time, because... Uh, you know that there's still fairly good selection of the 14s um, so on you know around so and there are really awesome cars so let's check it out uh, this one is a pearl white this one has the sport package and the technology package so it has a little bit um, different look than the, the standard ones but um, let's check it out but check out those contours Has like a, there's something about the front end and, and just the way it kind of has that hourglass shape to it. I'm trying to show you. Maybe you can see, but a uh, really impressive car. And quick, too. Um, hopefully, it won't be too much longer. I'm going to start doing uh, test drive videos on the Nissan vehicles. Um, but right now, just doing the walk arounds and kind of showing you the features. But I really, you know, definitely going to get into the test driving soon. Um, just want to go ahead and get the features out of the way. So here, this one has the upgraded 19-inch aluminum wheels. Uh, they have the, the dark color, um, kind of not really blacked out, but this is like a dark color uh, look to them. And this one has the, the, tech, the, uh, the intelligent key. And you see you can lock and unlock the doors and open it also open up the trunk with the key here but um, I'm just gonna put the key in my pocket for the rest of the video because you don't really need the key to operate the vehicle in your hand as long as you have it in your pocket or your purse you're good to go so here in the front we've got the projector by Xenon projector headlights here in the front and the uh, fog lights there at the bottom Kind of like a sports car sedan kind of car um <laughs> it's very very awesome on the inside too the uh interior is roomy and has a lot of features and it's just comfortable <laughs> and it's sporty looking let's go ahead and start here just so you can see what i'm talking about there's the inside of the the door here now um, this camera sometimes makes black look gray but this is a black interior and uh, there's a you know soft part right here but um, you know a lot of it is uh, soft to the touch uh, but then there's some parts that are hard to the touch but like that but most of it soft to the touch and the seats here um, they're leather black leather and they do have the perforations here in the in the in the bottom and in the back and it is a power passenger seat as well glove compartment is massive so you got plenty of room to put stuff there it's very windy today so hopefully my wind filter will do its job now here in the back seat you can see you got plenty of room there's the inside of the door but the um, interior, it's kind of like bucket seats, I guess you can say. And because you got these nice, really big bolsters on this side and on this side here. And then it does have the ability to have a center passenger when you don't have this down. This is your center armrest with some trunk access there. You can also have cup holders. You have some cup holders there. You got some vents in the back for the back seat drivers. And you do have the, the threshold there in the back as well as the front. It says Maxima on it. Has the dual exhaust for the 3.5 liter V6. 
and this is one of those cars where you have to drive it to believe how quick it is and um, it's a it's an amazing car so let me go ahead and open up this back here it's right here you see it's got the backup camera and the trunk releases that little button there on the side pretty good amount of trunk space and goes all the way back up in there you do have a, a spare tire under here lift it up to show you there it is there it's kind of like a donut type spare tire get this back out nothing really fancy there about the trunk um, except for it does have plenty of room does have a pretty low profile spoiler there The window sticker is pollen pollen season so trying to keep anything clean right now is near impossible so um, you know, gotta excuse the pollen on the car the white doesn't show the pollen as much um, that's one of the reasons why I chose a white car it does have the sunroof moonroof whatever you want to call it there there's the side mirrors and this one is an auto dim side mirror so like say if somebody's behind you with their high light high beams on this will auto dim just like the rear view mirror so that way you can uh, avoid getting blinded there's the inside of the driver's door you got a pocket there at the bottom you also have um, your power windows here the back two are not pa they're not automatic so you have to push and hold them until they get to the desired height they're um, but the front, you can just push it in one hard time and it'll go up and down and you can just let go of it. Power door locks are here. Uh, you could actually lock out all the other uh, windows besides the driver door by pushing that button. So if your other windows are not rolling up and down, just make sure that button is, is not pressed. Your um, presets for your seats are here. And this one has a really epic Bose sound system. Um, that's you know pretty awesome so let's uh, see yeah I can kind of show you some of the speakers back here all right so let's look here this is um, some buttons the trash control button is here your side mirror adjustments is here you just turn on which side you want and then adjust them heated steering wheel is here and the trunk release is right there this one has the powered tilt and telescoping steering column. That's part of the sport package. All right, so getting in here, the seats are really super comfortable. Um, and let me get the key actually out of my pocket. I told you I wasn't gonna take it out, but I don't really need to. But I just wanted to show you, it looks like there's like a place to put the key here and I'm not sure what the purpose of that is other than just to hold it I'm not really sure yeah, you just put the key in there and holds it um, I guess you I mean you can put it in your pocket and it's kind of letting you know hey you need to take the key out before you leave but um, I guess that's just a place to put the key I haven't seen that on the other models maybe it's maybe it's a 2014 thing fairly quiet in here with everything turned off there's like sirens and all cut windy and stuff out there today but so to start it as long as you have the key in the vehicle which I have um, basically you just put your foot on the brake and then push the start button and it starts right up so now we've got it's kind of warm today so I'm gonna have the air conditioner on and I'm just gonna Turn the fan down a little bit, so hopefully it won't interfere too much with the camera. But uh, the steering wheel is awesome. It's got like a sporty look. It's got like, um, not really perforations, but little dimples, I guess you can say, little grip things here on the sides. And then you got the smooth part, and then, um, you know, it's got that, that grip, fat grip right there. Pretty cool steering wheel. So, let me go ahead and move it down a little bit. And I like the, the 
the tilt, the electric tilt is very fast. You can get right there real easy. The telescope's a little bit slower. So here on the steering wheel on the right side, this is your cruise control. Um, so you just make sure you, you have it on and then you can set it and you know coast or accelerate whatever you want to do there. On this side, um, this one does have Bluetooth to where you can pair your phone. And once you pair your phone, you can make and receive calls using this button here. And um, you can also use a voice recognition system, which is here, and uh, you know tell the the car, like say to turn to a certain station or something like that. Also, call people, like call John if John's in your phone book and you're on your phone. Volume button for your radio is here, and these buttons correspond to the the radio there. To where this is a back button. Source is like say AM, FM, satellite radio, that kind of stuff, and then you can scroll through the menu systems here. This one's got these pretty huge paddle shifters there that are attached to the column, not the steering wheel. So basically, you can shift through the gears by pulling those in uh, and just changing the gears uh, plus or minus, like so. And uh, it's kind of like a sporty thing, you, you know. So that way you can shift through the gears. And I mean, it doesn't technically have gears, so it's kind of simulated, I guess you could say. But um, because it has the CVT system, so I'm not sure how it works. But um, I know this is, is a quick car, so I think you'll really be impressed when you test drive it. So on this side, you got some lights, your light controls there, and then your. Um, and then your uh, windshield wiper controls on that side. Here's your gauges. Goes up to 160 miles per hour. Pretty neat. You also have got an engine that doesn't redline until you get almost to 7,000 RPMs. Very impressive engine, the 3.5 liter Nissan engine. All right. Take a zoom out look there now uh, here on the center stack you've got this um, I think it's a 7 inch screen for the 2014's and right now it's on the navigation screen and uh, and basically you can use this dial here you can zoom in and out on the navigation to kind of get your bearings which is a pretty neat feature also you can use your arrows you know to kind of like go around and look around or whatever um, you can also zoom in and out with this button, too, these buttons too. Destination, you push the destination button, it get, takes you to a place where you can enter in a specific address. Um, you can also, you know, save addresses like your home address, stuff like that, where you can be anywhere in the United States or Canada and just hit go home and it'll take you home. You can always push the, uh, the root button, which you can go into the different settings, uh, root guidance settings stuff like that like say if you want to avoid tolls or something like that on a trip that kind of stuff you can just see the map there your phone you can pair your phone using that button um, info button is just you know like I like this thing it says where am I that's pretty cool um, get some fuel economy uh, stuff like that weather information you can update your maps then you can go into settings here and you know set your clock and Bluetooth and stuff like that and this button is for your set, setting your night nighttime brightness on the screen so down here is your CD player it does have a CD player no tape deck and I'm kind of surprised I mean the CD players are kind of phasing out they kind of been abs obsolete for a while but people still use them so I guess they you know put them in there and it does have the AM, FM, satellite radio, um, CD player and all that. Your volume is on this side and, and your uh, tune through your station is on that side. Climate control is just below there. Here you've got your uh, dual zone basically. Your driver is hot or cold. Um, your passenger is on this side. Your fan speed is here. Uh, recirculate the air. You can have air conditioning on. Um, mode basically, you know, you push mode and it cycles through where you want the air to blow. Right there and this one um, this one has different 
settings for the driver and the passenger. Uh, the driver actually has heated and cooled seats here with this knob. Right now I've got the cooled seats on. The, the passenger just has heated seats, so they don't have the cool seats. Now there's your shifter. Um, putting it in reverse reveals the uh, backup camera. And uh, so basically it's got your guidelines there and they will uh, move. It does have estimated trajectory lines that when you turn a steering wheel, um, they will kind of move and give you an idea of where you're kind of where you're headed. You can always put it in drive right there and just drive normal or you can move it over and kind of ratchet shift it through the gears which is an alternative to the paddle shifters here. Cup holders are right there and um, this, this thing is removable so you can like clean it out and put it back in. Um, so that's, that's a pretty neat feature. Also, uh, it's, it's separated in the middle, so you, you know you can kind of put phones and stuff in there. Gives you a little bit of extra room because this phone doesn't fit in all the cup holders, as you can tell. Uh, there is a good place to put my phone here. Um, perfect, actually, for my phone. And um, so that's a good, that's a pretty cool feature. Taking everything out of it, you can see it has a, a power supply there at the bottom, and it's all felt lined. And you can close it up if you wanted to. But I'm gonna put my phone in there. It's always good to have a place to put your phone when you get in the vehicle because, um, you know, the phone is so useful that you kind of have to want you kind of want to keep it around with you all the time. And um, I don't think that's a bad thing. The uh, armrest is here, and uh, now this one has two two different pockets here. Um, one is a shallow. It's got this these two buttons here. One has texture on the bottom one of them doesn't and this one of them has the uh, like a shallow pocket felt lined where you can I guess you could put your phone in there um, you can put a phone or a small tablet in there or whatever you want for small stuff and then opening up the big section here you've got a um, you've got a USB let's see if I can get this camera in there a USB port you've got all the the, um, the RCA inputs there you also have a power supply down at the bottom, and also you got this little car like cargo net on the side. And I guess that is kind of, it might be originally designed to put like a cell phone or something there, but it's kind of small compared to some of the cell phones now. But it does look like a little handy spot to put a cell phone if you're not going to be grabbing it and using it or whatever. It's just kind of out of the way spot. Hopefully you can see in there, it's not real bright. Do a little bit of a zoom out so you can see the car, what it looks like. Rear view mirror is an auto dim, just like the side mirror there. And uh, it does have the ability to turn that feature off with these buttons here, the on and off button. And you also have the home link garage door openers there on the rear view mirror as well. Up here, place to put your shades in that little pocket. And um, this one has like a felt interior to keep them from getting scratched. Uh, you got some tap lights, and I like the way they're, um, they diffuse the light pretty good. You can turn interior lights on with that if you wanted to. And this one, of course, has the moon roof to where you can, you can open it up like so. This button here. You can also vent it if you wanted to. Or you can just close it up. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Check out that 3.5 liter V6.
very smooth and quiet engine. Three, three point five liter is and and uh, very versatile engine. They use it in a lot of stuff. Um, got a lot covered everything up with plastic here, so. I guess it, I mean, they want everything secure, but um, I just, my preference is to see some, some metal engine parts, but, uh, you know, that's just me. But anyway, um, if you have any questions, this is the 2014 Nissan Maxima at Grand Strand Nissan. And, like I said, if you have any questions or clarifications, anything I got wrong, uh, missed, um, stuff like that just leave it in the comments so that way the next person who watches the video can see the clarifications and um, and corrections all right I'm also gonna leave Victor uh, my friend Victor works here at Grand Strand Nissan he's a really really nice guy um, he's really good with emails and stuff like that so if you're anywhere near um, Myrtle Beach or if you're planning on coming here for a vacation or pretty much if you're anywhere um, go ahead and send them an email or give them a call uh, because Nissan uh, it's a really good product and if you're even remotely considering one please give him a call and talk to him about it I'm sure he'll do, do his best to, to help you out so his contact information will be in the description thanks for watching see you next time